Welcome back everybody. Lunches can get so boring and so sometimes you got to jazz things up and we have a fun recipe for you. Love doing a salad at lunch uh, either to, to pack to take to work or maybe you're having the ladies over for a luncheon. Uh, Chef Arlie is here and we're going to show you how to do uh, a roasted butternut squash wild rice salad with a maple a yogurt dressing that sounds fantastic. Good to see you Arlie. Very good to be here. All right let's first start with the wild rice um, which uh, you you get some really wonderful wild rice. Yes, this um, is hand harvested wild rice from Bemidji, Minnesota. Um, the difference between this and some of the other stuff you see in the store, the real black stuff, mm -hmm. is that it's what they call patty rice. It's uh, hand. It's not hand harvested. It's actually grown in a controlled environment. Mm -hmm. So this is this is the stuff that they still take out take the canoe out and they still have somebody paddling, they still have the people that beat the reeds and uh, harvest it. It's also uh, what they call um, fire, ro uh, fire dried. It's uh, roasted over fire just for a little bit. So how could people get something like this if we, I mean, this is something you're saying you're probably not going to find at the grocery store, uh, but it, it, you know, you could get yeah. it online? Online if you do a search. If you do a search for uh, hand harvested wild rice, okay, you may be able to find some there. There may be one store in town that does have this. Um, you can try Woodman's possibly if they have it. And I know it, I, I know so. too, you can, uh, in a pinch, and I've used it before and it actually works great. Um, you can buy canned wild rice. Yes, you and can. And just drain yes, it, it's already cooked for you. Yep. Uh, yes. I know they have that right at festival, so, yes. uh, you know, if you don't have time, and it really tastes great. I've so, used it, it's, yeah. it's good stuff. So there's another, uh, you know, kind of a mm -hmm. shortcut if you don't want to mm -hmm. make your own wild rice. But uh, Arlie, to you toast this in the oven on a cookie oven, sheet? Toast it in the oven for five minutes in the cookie sheet, just to get the essential oils that are inside it, get those moving around. Um, um, and then put it on, on the stove. Let it simmer for 10, 15 minutes, depending on your stove. Um, don't cook it till it's mush and open. Okay. You want you, it a little you, al dente. You, want, you do. You want a little bit of bite left into it. it, it the flavor is left in there. You're not just left with a big pile of mush. Okay. All right. So we've got our wild rice got that's the wild cooked. Rice. Uh, roasted butternut squash. Roasted so, butternut squash. So you peeled it, I see. You've taken the it, seeds off. Took the seeds out. Depending on how much time you got, you know, if you like them bigger chunks, you can definitely do that. I love using different things like this that you, you know, just, but it seems so special because we don't use them very often. Butternut squash is great. I um, love it too. We grew up eating the acorn squash. Mm -hmm. Everybody has that. Mm -hmm. um, I love that. Could well, you use that in place could, of the butternut? You most definitely could. Okay. I think the only squash that you might not be able to use would be a spaghetti squash. That would, sure. That would fall apart. Sure. Here. But any, I've used Hubbard squashes. I've used um, the butternut, the acorns. And the same method, basically peel it, method. dice it up. Peel it, dice it. We've got a, a foil lined cookie sheet just mm -hmm. so we don't have to worry about the mess. Yep. And then oven temperature when you're roasting squash. 400. 400, 400 degrees. Okay. A little oil. A little oil. If you prefer, you can do a little uh, chopped herbs on there. Oh, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, definitely. And into the oven for about how long? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay. 20 minutes. We want it to get, you know, and that's why we've got the oven temperature mm -hmm. on a high heat. I even sometimes will crank mine to, you know, everyone's oven's different. Yeah, so even yeah. 425, 425, 450, you know. This time of year, now that, it, that it's get, actually getting cold, you're going to find the sugars in these in the uh, squash is more predominant. And so you're going to get a nice ca uh, caramelization on it. Mm. Here they are. Here's the they squash. They look delicious. And you don't want to mush mush, right? No, Again, you no. want them a little, you know. You want them to have a little firmness to them. Not too much, but right. just so they hold their, their, tech, right. hold their shape. We're not going to make a puree out no. of it, though. So, no. uh, all right. So here's our wild, uh, our, our squash, butternut squash. Our wild rice is wild done. Rice. Now we're going to start putting this together. Okay. And it's got a great dressing, which I'm excited about. Put the wild rice, the squash. Make sure you get those herbs in there. Mm -hmm. Green onions. At this point, too, depending on the time of year and depending on what you have available around you, you can add, in the summer, I like to do this with fresh berries. Mm. You can use that. Add some craisins or some raisins or some dried fruit. Oh, yeah. Just to give it, you know, a little bit more more flavor. Sure. Okay. So the dressing, mm -hmm. real simple. This is low-fat yogurt. Okay. Plain? Vanilla. I use vanilla. Vanilla. I like, the, I like the vanilla. Vanilla, okay. So. You can use plain. Okay. You can use plain. You can use a low fat even more. Okay. So we're going to drizzle a little. Sweeten it up with a little, a little bit, bit of, of. Real maple syrup. Real maple syrup. 
a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit of salt. And some pepper. A little bit of pepper in it. Oh, that's easy. Real easy. Now here's the fun part. Here's what kind of nuts part. are we using? I love hazelnuts. I love hazelnuts. I love hazelnuts. We used to have trees when growing up by our house, wild. And they're and so good. They're, they're so wonderful. Um, you can leave them plain like this. You can toast them for a few minutes in the oven. Just on a, a dry just pan? Just on a dry pan. Just let them, let them go for about 15, 20 minutes. Oh, so good. Now, if you can't find hazelnuts, what would be another good nut to walnuts, use? Walnuts, any type of nut would work fine. Well, walnuts are really good. Pecans, pecans can run you a little expensive, so mm -hmm. uh, walnuts are good. You can already get them pre-chopped as well. Did I, was that right to put the dressing oh, right yeah, in there? Yeah, yeah, okay. you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. There you go, and then we'll just give that a stir, fold that over. This is so beautiful. This would be so nice. Mm -hmm. um, just on a, even a buffet for a salad yes. for something a little different. This is going to really wow everybody. Now, if you're pe having people over, ca uh, can you make this ahead of time and have this it in the fridge? Sure, this would be this would work definitely work fine. Me being made ahead ahead of time, letting it sit. One the of the things are going to grow. Uh, the flavors are going to meld a little better. Yeah, I agree. Just to you know, mm -hmm, really. Mm -hmm. But I always do a dressing check if I'm making like a pasta or a rice salad because sometimes that dressing or even a potato salad, uh, the, the rice tends to you know soak yep. it all up. So maybe yep. you might need to add a little more of the dressing. And to check for the seasoning, see if it needs anything else before serving. Serve you, that on. You a, can serve it on a bed of bed of lettuce if you'd like some mixed greens. You can, like you said, just serve it on a platter on a buffet. Ooh. Let's chop a couple extra nuts, maybe to put on top. We can do that. Oh my gosh, Arlie, that looks fantastic. Something totally different. Mm -hmm. We're talking about lunch today, but mm -hmm. that would be one fantastic dinner with maybe with some grilled chicken or grilled chicken. And fast and simple. Yeah. And simple, you know. Great way to use leftovers too. Yes. If you're, you know, got leftover wild sure. rice or wild rice uh, uh, proteins, you can put, uh, you can add some meats to it if you'd like. Some leftover, if you have leftover chicken from the day before, wow. throw that in there. Wow, that looks nice fantastic. Nice chicken salad. Ooh. What are we making next time for lunch? I'm hungry for a good sandwich. We're going to do a, a chicken and mozzarella and sun-dried tomato melt. Mm. Oh, that sounds good. No more boring lunches. No. All our lunch recipes that we're featuring today you can find on the website, fox11online.com. Click on the Living tab and recipes and it'll all be right there. We'll be back with some more really fun, different, unusual lunch ideas. So don't go anywhere. Stay with us.